Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail I took a red pill I know life's short so I wanna live real But how is it supposed to feel? Hey guys welcome to the new video so today we are going to install windows 1.0 on vmware workstation pro so before installing we need three things to be checked first we have to download ms dos 6.22 uh, 6.22 is the version of it then we have to download windows 1.0 img file which is a floppy disk file then we have to download windows 2.0 img file the reason we are downloading windows 2.0 img file is that to make our mouse working in windows 1.0 we are just going to copy the mouse driver file from windows 2.0 and paste it into windows 1.0's floppy drive so that uh, the mouse will be working on windows 1.0 so let's begin the video let's start by downloading the stuff so the download links will be given in the description so open your chrome browser this is the first link which you will get ms-dos 6.22 so if you go down you have to download which has the highest number of downloads it has 141 downloads ms-dos 6.22 plus enhanced tools click on that and after clicking you can get two servers which you can download from I'm clicking server 1 because it's very fast for me in India so I'm going to save it in desktop after that we have to download windows 1.0 this link will be given in the description the second link and scroll down go to 1.0.4 and after going down download this third option Microsoft Windows 1.04 .04, IBM PS2 and click on it and again download from server 1 and again I'm going to save it in desktop and now we are going to Windows 2.0 the link the third link in the description so you can go there and you can download Windows 2.0.3 which is 36 downloads click on the first one and I'm going to click server one again and I'm going to download it in desktop so our three files are downloaded as you can see here so I'm gonna close this now we have to extract all this just select all of this right click show more options and extract all and click on extract so it only extracted the windows 2.0.3 let's extract others as well so after this refresh so that there is no problem here now go to your vmware now open your vmware workstation pro okay so now we have to create a new virtual machine and click on custom and click on next and in the hardware select windows i mean workstation 9x which is compatible for windows uh, 1.0 to windows vista and click on next and click on i will install operating system later click on next click on microsoft windows and in windows version click windows 3.1 since there is no windows 1.0 that's the reason we are clicking windows 3.1 click on next and you can save uh, this file where you want i'm going to save it in desktop so i'll create a new folder and I'm going to rename it as windows 1.0 and click on ok so it's gonna save it in desktop click on next uh, click on next again ok you can give it like 64 megabytes of ram it's more than enough for this system click on next 
and since windows 1.0 doesn't have any network capabilities we are going to leave it as it is click on next and leave it as it is click on next and uh, select ide click on next create a new virtual disk click, click on next and 2 gb is more than enough or even 1 gb is more than enough i'm going to give it as 2 gb and store the virtual disk as a single file and click on next and windows 3.1 will be renamed as windows 1.0 this is the disk file and click on next click on customize hardware and click on this cd icon and click on remove now click on add go to floppy drive and click on finish so floppy drive has been added so we are first going to install ms dos so click on use floppy image file and click on browse and go to your desktop where you have saved go to ms dos 6.22 plus enhanced tools and select your disk one and go to display and we are going to have we are going to have a stretch mode so that we will have a full screen and sound card it's everything fine so default host sound card network adapter not required processor it's all uh, nice and memory it's 64 mb more than enough now click on close and click on finish and after this we are just power on the virtual machine and you can click this window pop-up window and click on view and put on full screen so we are viewing everything in full screen and by the way to exit your full screen you just press ctrl alt and enter and you will exit the full screen and if you want to bring your mouse alt a uh, mouse out you can press ctrl and alt so that your mouse is outside now and to go back into the ms dos just click again so that uh, you go back into your ms dos so i'm going to full screen by pressing ctrl alt and enter and press enter again press enter again and enter and it will restart and uh, format the c drive and the settings are correct click on next i mean the enter key press enter key again okay now it's asking this too now what you have to do is remove your mouse from ms dos by pressing ctrl and alt and your mouse has been released now and hover over the top and in the vm go to removable device floppy settings click on browse and select your disk 2 ms dos image click on ok now go back to your ms dos and press enter now the same process you have to repeat again remove your mouse vm removable device floppy settings browse disk 3 click on ok press enter and we have successfully installed now what we have to do is we have to disconnect this floppy drive removable device floppy and disconnect go back to your machine press enter press enter again and it will restart so we have successfully installed ms dos without any problems now what we have to do is copy the mouse driver file from windows 2.0 to windows 1.0's img file so what we have to do is first we have to create a folder so to create a folder the command is mkdir and the folder name which you have to create i am going to create it as mouse press enter now we have created the folder now go to top go to vm removable device floppy settings and click on this connected icon click on browse now go back to your windows 2.0's folder
click on it and click on disk one only disk one is enough for this video and what you have to do is type type a colon and type this following copy mouse dot drv to c colon mouse mouse is the folder which you have created the press enter one file has been copied to check this type c colon type cd mouse and type dir so as you can see the mouse drv file has been copied here and i'm gonna clear this now we are going to insert our windows 1.2's img file so vm removable device floppy settings click on browse now go back to your windows 1.0's folder and click on disk one click on ok now what you have to do is type the following command copy mouse dot drv to a colon a colon is the floppy drive which means the windows 1.0 image press enter so it's gonna overwrite the file now type y and press enter so one file has been copied now we can start installing windows 1.0 so now type a colon and type setup now press c to start the setup press enter and press c again and let the keyboard be one and press enter okay here you have to change the mouse driver file which we have copied from windows 2.0 so press 2 and press enter and to get a color display i am pressing 2 again and press enter and now you have to insert disk 2 so control alt over over the top vm removable floppy settings browse this two and going back press c and uh, no we are not going to set up anything so i'm going to press n and uh, you have to insert disk three now so vm removable device floppy settings browse disk 3 ok press c so, so we have successfully installed windows 1.0 so before doing in, uh, opening the windows we have to type a command type set or win 100 dot pin as 3.34 Oh, it's set. I got set wet. No, it's set well. So after typing, you will get the version has been successfully updated. The reason we are doing is that because uh, the VMware will not support without this command so that's why we have did that or the windows 1.0 will keep crashing again and again so what i'm going to do is remove the mouse and vm removable device floppy disconnect and uh, in, in the right side of pause button you can see a dra drop down arrow and you can click on restart guest so it is going to start ms toss again now type cd windows now type win.com so we have successfully installed windows 1.0 
and this is how it looks like the color is nice and you can open clock this is the first clock version you can even see the version clock 1.0.2 1985 1986 now click on close and I'm gonna close this again. This will end your window session. And just shut down the system. And I'm going to exit the full screen. And you have to delete. If you want to delete this virtual machine, right click on this, go to manage, and delete from disk and it's going to delete permanently so this is how you install and uninstall windows 1.0 on your virtual machine with mouse working so i hope you like this video like share and subscribe so see you in the next one